This morning we'll be singing the Mass of Christ the Savior, which begins at hymn number 917. Our entrance hymn is America the Beautiful, number 651.
the God by whom we are redeemed and receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God, he comes with vindication. With divine recompense, he comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools, and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial will be the hymn on eagle's wings. Please join in the refrain.
A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby, shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, sit here please, while you say to the poor one, stand there, or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourselves? and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs to the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. be with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you lord again jesus left the district of tyre and went by way of sidon to the sea of galilee into the district of the decapolis and people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him he took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Epheta, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Good morning. When we go back to the Old Testament, we can see that the Israelites were called upon over and over again by the prophets to listen to the word of God that they spoke to them about. And these people oftentimes did not listen. And as a consequence, they were not as happy or peaceful as they should have been. Whenever we look at their life over the centuries, they came to see 
that there were times when they were not right with God. But nevertheless, they treated people according to distinctions. At the time of Jesus, they were people who were not considered part of society because of some illness or because some impediment in their lives. And of course, we see Jesus in the gospel today healing the sick, of bringing peace and hope into their lives. And when we see this in Jesus, we know that it is because he had compassion on people. He was not swayed by anyone who might have had money or done anything that made them famous. But Jesus rather took compassion on all people. And this was further amplified in the second reading today from St. James. He had reminded the people that by listening to the word of God, by living out their faith, they were to do good for one another. That they were not just to remain in a faith that was actionless, but rather a faith that went out and did good and did it to everyone, that there was no distinction, no discrimination, but rather that all people were there to be taken care of in their need. And whenever he ended this reading today, he reminds us that those who love one another, who serve one another, will re receive the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. So when we listen to this, and particularly in regard to our situation today and at this Mass, we can look to all of those people who, even though they are not out for lots of money, they have given over their, themselves and their lives for the sake of many people and with no discrimination whatsoever. So this can remind us that each and every person who does serve God by serving one another and maybe dies in that particular situation, that they have received the kingdom of God, the kingdom of heaven. That there is no need for us to pray for them that they reach into heaven, but they are already there because they have been of service. And now I know that there are many of you here who are of service to our communities, to our country. And whatever you do, I know you do for the love of people because I know that you don't have salaries that are that great that would keep you from... Uh, you know, keep you into this job of doing these things. And you have to deal with all kinds of people, whether they, no matter what their nationality, creed, or color, that you take care of their needs because this is your job, but it is also a vocation that you have in your life. So you are truly blessed by God by having this attitude that you are there to serve one another, to serve other people. Now, I have to say one note of caution. You know, whenever you know that those who have died through their job, you know, that they might, that they will be with God, they are, have received the kingdom of God, you can't presume that now. Because if somebody told me I was guaranteed of salvation, of being in heaven, and that I was going to be martyred, you know, I'd be free. I'd do whatever I wanted to do. <laughs> so you are cautioned that even though you have a job that is not always safe, and that you could possibly maybe die in the job that you have, it doesn't mean it's guaranteed. You may live in old age and still go to hell. <laughs> <laughs> so you are reminded that if anything does happen to you, you will receive the kingdom because of your service. And I'm sure 
that all of you will continue on your way of trying to live out God's word and doing the things that you should be doing in regard to your life and of course for us the following of Christ's teaching of following the word of God so stay out of trouble <laughs> I believe in one God, God the Father, Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God, the Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God, true God, true God, God not made, consubstantial with the Father, through whom all things are made, for our sin and for our salvation. respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For all who faithfully follow Christ Jesus, that God may free them from all fear, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For all Christians, that God may strengthen and inspire us to bring justice to the oppressed, food to the hungry, sight to the blind, and raise up those who are bowed down. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who profess Jesus to be Lord, that through God's grace and compassion they show no partiality in dealing with others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are suffering hardship and deprivation, that God comfort them with mercy and love, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that God may shower them with everlasting peace and joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, each day you answer our prayers in so many different and unique ways. Grant these prayers according to your wisdom. We ask this in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our offertory hymn is number 508, Prayer of St. Francis. <laughs>
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in your hands, and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all the soul of the church. O God, you give us the gift of true prayer and of peace. Graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, <clears throat> always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made the, all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as without one voice we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, 
which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Benedict, our Pope, Lawrence, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my word, but only say the word in my soul.
After Mass, there will be a gathering for fellowship and refreshments in the social hall. We ask that you please join us. Thank you. so benefit from your beloved son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I would like to thank all of you who came here today to participate in this liturgy and I would ask that I would ask everyone here to continue remembering you in their prayers and I want you also to say one for me once in a while. I really need it. Uh, the other, I have one note for you too that when you go to the hall and they're going to have you know uh, refreshments if they have some good cookies there don't touch them <laughs> they're for me <laughs> the Lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty God bless you the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen. go in peace thanks be to God Our entrance hymn will be the Battle Hymn of the Republic or Mine Eyes Have Seen the Glory, number 615.